Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. This week's devotional thought is centered on our second Advent candle, peace. I love this year's monologue that ties together the reality and craziness of 2020 with the, 20, with the timeless message of this Advent season. But you know, in a year when peace often seems so elusive amidst the backdrop of racial tension, election anxiety, and pandemic fears, how can this single light of peace help us? Well, first of all, peace is not the absence of conflict or trouble. Rather, peace is the assurance of what we hope for and know in the midst of life's difficulties. We have peace knowing that we are God's, that he chose us, loves us, protects us, and walks with us. We have peace knowing that no matter how challenging 2020 is, our God is with us and working on our behalf. Secondly, we have peace because in a dark period of time, God sent his son into the world to bring peace to those who have been separated from God and one another. God sent his son not to condemn the world, but to save the world. God sent his son not to bring war, but to restore peace. God sent his son to right a wrong once and for all. We have peace knowing all that God has done on our behalf. And third, we have peace because Jesus gave it to us. We read in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Some of Jesus' final instructions to prepare his disciples for his departure assure them that the Holy Spirit and his peace would abide after his departure. They would not be alone. My friends, sometimes we just need to slow down, take a deep breath, and take in the peace promised to each of us. So this Sunday, as we light the second candle on our Advent wreath, may we focus not on the struggles around us, but rather focus on the Prince of Peace. May we slow down and take to heart that we are a people of hope and peace. And may we find comfort in knowing that the one sent is called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. We are not alone, and that gives me and you peace. Amen. Well, today, there are many things that I'd like to share with you about Wesley Church and some upcoming events. If you didn't hear, last week we made a very difficult decision to temporarily suspend in-person worship services now through January 3rd due to the COVID-19 infection rates as they're growing at an alarming rate and projected to continue to rise. On the heels of that decision, Bishop Park has also issued a letter this week asking all churches in the Susquehanna Conference to refrain from in-person services for the remainder of the year. Please know that this decision comes after much careful deliberation and earnest prayer for both the cabinet and us here at Wesley Church. No, we miss you, but the cabinet your church council and I have always put your safety first, always keeping in mind the words of John Wesley to do no harm. Our Advent experience is this year is centered around Adam Hamilton's book, Not a Silent Night, which you can easily pick up online. We are also offering a companion study with Jeff Miller as a Zoom meeting each Sunday at 1030. It went very well last week, and we're really excited uh, to have our next class on Sunday. Please contact Jeff or myself if you would like to join us. 
We are so appreciative for all of you that have uh, participated in the Join Hands and Concora Christmas projects. And please return your gifts uh, and diapers to the church uh, by Sunday, December 6th. Our services, we continue to live stream each Sunday morning at 9 a.m. And we do that on both Facebook and YouTube. And finally, we've had to make some adjustments uh, to our Christmas Eve service uh, due to the suspension of in-person services for the remainder of the year. Instead of the three services we were planning, we will now live stream just one Christmas Eve service at 7 p.m. Well, thank you for visiting with me today, and uh, let's close our time together with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, in these challenging times that stretch on, help us not to grow weary in doing the right thing in caring for ourselves and those around us. We continue to pray for healing for those who are sick and strength for our caregivers. Help us every day to be people of hope and peace that points others to you. And may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times, in all ways. The Lord be with you all. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. Let's talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay safe and stay strong. God bless, my friends.